Bonjour, and welcome to Paris Top Tips. Today is a special day because today I'm going to have a lunch here at Madame Brasserie. It's possible you weren't aware, but the Eiffel Tour actually offers a variety of dining options to suit different tastes and budgets, whether you prefer a sit down meal or something on the go. There are two distinct restaurants each offering its own unique experience. The first is a renowned Jules Verne, a two Michelin star establishment situated on the second floor. And the second option is Madame Brasserie, a recently redesigned Parisian eatery led by chef Thierry Marx, located on the first floor. To secure your spot for lunch or dinner at the restaurant, simply head to the website link in the description below. Then the cost of your meal will encompass the elevator journey to the first floor, providing a seamless and inclusive dining experience above the cityscape. You'll still need to queue up for security checks before ascending, but on a separate line. Once you're on the website, simply navigate to the book section and follow the prompts to make your reservation. Select the number of guests and the day and time you wish to have lunch or dinner there. As you can see, availability can vary especially on popular days. It's a good idea to book early to secure your preferred time slot, as they can fill up quickly. You then have the opportunity to choose your sitting location within the restaurant. The Coeur Brasserie tables are situated close to the center of the Eiffel Tower, and they'll provide the least expensive solution. On Seine Riverside, the tables enjoy a breathtaking panorama overlooking the Seine River and its bustling boats, offering a picturesque view of Paris. And the window tables offer the ultimate dining experience with the best views over Paris. There are three different menus, each at increasing price points. The Brasserie menu is specifically available in the Coeur Brasserie section. The Madame menu comes without or with drinks, then including a glass of champagne. Lunch prices range from 60 euro to 129 euro, depending on your sitting location and the selected menu. During dinner service, you'll have the same seating options available. However, for dinner you'll be presented with two menu choices. The Gustave menu with drinks, including champagne, is exclusively available in the Coeur Brasserie section. The Grand Dame menu includes drinks, including champagne, and offers a comprehensive four-course dining experience. Dinner prices range from 127 euro to 254 euro, depending on your sitting location and the selected menu. Here are the prices for dining at Madame Brasserie, ranging from 60 euro to 254 euro. At 60 euro, the starting price is slightly above what you might expect to pay at a ground level brasserie. But at the highest end, the price of 254 euro is comparable to what you might find at a Michelin starred restaurant, although Madame Brasserie does not hold that distinction. While the lunch menu prices and the Gustave menu at dinner may appear to offer good value given the exceptional setting of Madame Brasserie, the pricing of the Grand Dame menu seems a bit steep. This is particularly noticeable when comparing it to the 255 euro cost of the five course tasting menu at Jules Verne, situated on the Eiffel Tower's second floor and renowned for its two Michelin stars. We have to wait a little bit before we can go up, but in 10 minutes, we'll be able to take the lift. And we're going right there. Even with an online booking, you'll need to visit this small kiosk to confirm your arrival. There, you'll receive your voucher on the table number. On the side of the kiosk, you will find the different menus. The prices listed here are lower than the ones I provided because they exclude access to the Eiffel Tower. When dining at Madame Brasserie, you'll only pay 9 euro 40 for the lift to the first floor, whereas if you were to ascend the tower via the lift without dining at a restaurant, the fee would be 18 euro 80. It's time to elevate ourselves. OK, 
Okay, before we enjoy the breathtaking climb, let's experience the joy of being packed into the lift like sardines in a can. A little more weight in and we're in. These are Seine Riverside and window tables. But for this lunch we opted for Coeur Brasserie. The view is nice too from this side. We started the meal with some bubbles that I enjoyed a lot. Bread served with elegance and paired with exquisite salted butter there's truly nothing quite like it to awaken the appetite of a French connoisseur. Our menu was the Madame menu with drinks. For my starter, I'm indulging in a classic yet timeless terrain, perfectly paired with a delightful apple compote. While my wife was being served a refreshing chicory salad, adorned with creamy goat's cheese and savory smoked duck breast, all delicately dressed in a walnut oil vinaigrette. It's good! Next, I was served some tender veal breast with vegetables and crispy rice in a blanquette sauce. For those of you familiar with my typical Parisian restaurants videos, you may know my deep affection for blanquette de veau. However, I must confess, while this dish may not be the traditional blanquette, its exquisite flavors and remarkable sauce were an absolute delight. And the crispy rice, cooked in such a unique manner, was a truly amazing discovery something I had never experienced before. And you know it's a memorable dish when I'm shamelessly scrapping every last bit of that remaining sauce at the end. For her main course, my wife opted for the Paris region trout, served with parsnip risotto, elegantly accompanied by an orange beurre blanc sauce. She too thoroughly enjoyed her main course. For dessert, we both indulged in the citrus Mont Blanc. It was not too bad. Clearly not the highlight of the meal. With a refreshing main tea for me and a revitalizing espresso for my wife, it was time to bid farewell to Madame Brasserie. Was it a good experience? Absolutely. Despite being a tad pricer than my usual restaurant choices, it was definitely worth it. Deciding whether to pay more for a better view ultimately depends on your preferences. 
As a Parisian who's visited the Eiffel Tower numerous times, perhaps splurging on a table with a view at an upgraded price might not be the top priority for me. However, I completely understand if you're willing to pay the premium for such an indulgence. Given that we're already here, and despite the slightly wet weather, we might as well make the most of it and admire the view. We even made the climb to the second floor, since you can't catch an elevator between the first and second floors, and let me tell you, the view from up there is even more stunning. However, after enjoying the view from the second floor, we were able to take the elevator back down to the ground. With a short stop on the first floor. If you've made it this far into the video, perhaps you found it more enjoyable than you initially thought. It would mean a lot to me if you could do me the honor of subscribing to Paris Top Tips. It may not mean much to you, but for me, it carries significant importance. And now, until the next video, au revoir and bon appétit!